So she, she found a stranger on the street and she, she got him to help her remove all her stuff. And she left him a note saying, Chuck, you're bringing me down. <laughs> that, summer, <laughs> that summer she played in Ontario at the Mariposa Folk Festival. She was starting to gain quite a bit of notoriety with her songwriting and Buffy St. Marie and Judy Collins and quite a few other very famous folk musicians at the time were covering her songs, but she longed to be taken as a singer-songwriter in her own right. On that bill, she was um, on the poster, it says, a local um, singer-songwriter, but she was also playing with one of the headliners, Leonard Cohen. The sexy Leonard Cohen. <laughs> So, of course, they hit it off, and um, she asked Leonard, they became lovers, and she asked Leonard to give her a reading list because Chuck had been less than complimentary to her about her um, education. So, he responded to her that he thought she was doing quite well without him, but she, he did recommend quite a few books, um, Chemists and the I Ching, and, and quite a few that she says she still will peruse occasionally today. Um, so, our next song is uh, one of the songs that she wrote about, John, about Leonard. She wrote a few, this was a very prolific period of time in her career. Um, she's usually quite secretive about who she's writing the songs about, but she's divulged that she's written several about Leonard. The next one is called Rainy Night House, and it's about um, an adventure she had going to his childhood home. Uh, Mike, Mike Dubay on sound, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Mike, could you bring the lights up at the back so that uh, Deborah can use the music? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> just, just, a little, just a little green there, Mike. Thank you. I'd like to make a special thank you to Deborah for being here today. She, um, somebody very close to her passed away and they postponed the funeral, so I really 